Are you a triple threat? Are you pretty? Do you have personality? Do you have a body as well? You're definitely a triple threat. And let you not benefit from all the isms. Either on top of that, let you not benefit from featureism, colorism, and texturism. Oh, you're definitely a walking mirror for insecure people's triggers. I'm trying to tell you. People will project onto triple threats all the time. There's no neutral ground for pretty women. People are either obsessed with you or they can't stand you or they envy you. People go around making up rumors about you that's not true. If you work at a, a job environment where there's pick me females or basic Bettys, let them be the manager in charge of you. They're going to give you a very hard time. I'm dealing with that at my work currently. A manager is giving me a hard time acting like she don't see me when she, there's when people need to be assigned to certain tasks. And when it's my turn to get assigned a task, she completely skips me and goes to other people. And she's been doing this. It's almost like she's trying to piss me off or something. Like she's purposely acting like she don't see me or something. I'm right here. I'm in bright pink. I'm the only one wearing bright pink because I wear the most feminine colors. I wear pink and purple and it's loud too. And I don't care. And people don't like when you're pretty and loud. When, when I mean loud, I'm not talking about out of your voice because we already know as bad bitches we don't have to speak to get attention at all i'm talking about just your presence is loud your aura is loud you are just shining you are a walking dime piece and the basic baddies can't handle it it's too much the, the insecure ones they can't take it like people as soon as tyler came on the scene gave her a hard time Tyler is definitely a triple threat who benefits from all the isms. Off the top of my head, she is a perfect example. And guess what? People are giving her a hard time. Why is she still number one? Why is her song Water still at the top of the charts? And all of this hater stuff. Like, that is a good song. I don't know. If, that's a catchy song. I think it's a really catchy song. Like it's, it's, it's one of those songs you can't help but to, like, move to when you hear it come on. But I just noticed whenever that song would come on at my job, Basic Betty's, this one Basic Betty, she would roll her eyes like, not this song again. Just hate her shit. And then I see stuff on like um, Lipstick Alley where they just talking shit about her. And I'm just like, the girl is a sweetheart. Tyler's a sweetheart. And a lot of us more than likely are sweethearts. There's a lot of us that are sweethearts. But people just, because we just trigger them so much, they label us with all these stereotypes like we stuck up it's it's a, it's a gaslighting tactic to try to humble us and we have to remember that when people are trying to belittle you or try to ruin your life or make or irritate you on purpose or just remember that they're doing that especially if you know you're a nice person and you don't even speak a lot like you're an introverted pretty girl and you still get attention anyway. That I'm one of those introverted pretty girls that still get attention anyways. And people can't stand it. I literally don't have to tell anybody my name. And any environment that I've ever been in. Any sense, any community that I've ever been in. Whether that's churches or schools. I didn't have to really speak much. And people knew who I was. That's what pretty bitches. We just don't have to speak. Our silence is very loud. And... The loud, the basic baddies can't stand it. I this one basic. I tell y'all about this one basic baddie all the time. She really can't stand me. She doesn't even speak to me. I'm the only person in the office she don't speak to. But I notice when I do come around, she gets extra loud and obnoxious to try to get attention from other people. And people just ignore her and talk to me. I've seen that happen so many times. And I just couldn't help but just laugh in my head like, damn. Like, I... I I don't want her to feel bad or feel some type of way, but I'm not even in control of how people treat me. I'm not. I'm just I'm just existing. And I I've leveled up. Being beautiful is not like for the lazy. I worked hard to be where I'm at. I didn't always feel confident. I am now confident and I'm not going to let nobody take my shine away from me. And don't y'all do the same. Just remember, if you're a triple threat and people don't like you, you're doing something right.
a lot of these basic betties want you to have low self-esteem like they have they want you to be on their level so they're trying to do these manipulative tactics and gaslighting things not inviting you to the table on purpose making you feel making you feel excluded from the club or the wherever they're making you're they're literally excluding you you're the only black girl not in the group of black girls they're just trying to they're trying to knock you down a notch because they feel like you need to be even though they know you're a nice person and everything the fact that i am so nice they don't even have a real reason to not like me so they just don't talk to me at all so this is like all right it's obvious you guys are not talking to me and it's all the black girls it's like i'm the only one outcasted and i can say it all because they're hood and i'm not but not all of them are hood so it's not like one of those things because i used to deal with one of those things i'm not hood and i couldn't fit in with the hood girls but this is one of them situations where they're all some suburb some hood but all basic baddies so um and i just wanted to be in the girl the group because of relatability to being black but i'm excluded they'll fake be nice with me whenever i give whenever i give them the same energy like i'll come to work the next day not giving them no mind not paying them any attention not speaking not saying hi or anything and then they'll feel the need to want to speak all of a sudden like they can't not have me involved in anything that they're doing but they can't not have like they want to y'all know what i'm trying to say like they want to be like they want to be close to you but they don't really want to be close to you i'm i can't think of the word i'm looking for here because it's like if i ignore them they'll go out their way to make sure i speak to them next time it's a thing that happens so much if I feel like somebody's trying to humble me, I'm going to humble them right back. And then they'll all of a sudden feel me giving them the same energy and then be like, oh, never mind type of energy. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? There? I can't think of the word, but it happens so often to me. It's ridiculous. And it's tiring. Like I fake wishy-washy, hot and cold people. I can't stand them. But it's all good. I'm just learning now who I should only hang with females who are leveled up. That's the only people I can hang out with from at this point. Like, and that's cool. You're definitely getting celebrity treatment as a triple threat as well. And they don't like that either. You're the popular girl. Everywhere I go, even though I'm an introvert, I'm still somehow the popular girl and it's because of my aura and my energy and of course how I look obviously like people will just be randomly just staring me down as they're walking past me like you know how when if you guys ever go overseas to other countries y'all know how other people just stare at you if you're black they just staring just staring as you're walking past them with it like you're like you're a statue or something so this was just a quick video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you for listening.